What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you two ways to check the fuel pressure on your fuel rail on an R56 Mini Cooper S. And it'll probably work on any Mini Cooper, but this is going to be on a 2009 Mini Cooper S. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around. You're going to want to watch this whole video. Okay, there's been a whole bunch of questions lately in my Facebook group, Mini Cooper DIY that have to do with fuel pressure. And people are asking, you know, hey, my car's stumbling, it's not starting. And everyone's saying, well, check your fuel pressure on your fuel rail and people aren't knowing how to do it. So I'm gonna make this video and I'm gonna show you two ways that you can check it um, with two different tools. One's gonna be with the scan gauge two, which I'll link to in the description. And the other one's gonna be with, I have a Foxwell uh, 510 Elite. Looks like this, I'll plug that in. I'll show you how to do it with that too. Now also, that link will be in the description. So uh, yeah, I mean, let me start my car and, and we'll get to it. Okay, if you have a, a scan gauge too, you'll have this, obviously, scan gauge too. But give it a second, it'll turn on. Right here, see where it says FRP? That's fuel rail pressure, and that's what my fuel rail pressure is. You want it to be around 725 at idle. It'll, it's going to fluctuate because uh, that's why I was checking it because my idle's been fluctuating a little bit. I think my throttle body might be dirty. But uh, if you press this button right here, you can change that to other stuff. I don't know what that one means, but uh, you know, that's transmission fluid temperature sure what that one is I'm not sure what a lot of them is you get that's the volt voltage but uh you just cycle through it and leave it on fuel that's a uh, fuel pressure or okay, that's not it go back to it just cycle through until you get to the fuel fuel rail pressure it should be coming up there it is that's how you check it with the scan gauge too. And then I'll, I'm going to show you the other way to check it right now, which is a little bit harder. This way is a lot easier, and I definitely recommend these scan gauge twos. Uh, I'm actually going to see. I have this just this little Bluetooth dongle holding it in place right here. Uh, I'm actually planning on getting two of these and stacking them, and uh, I think so I can run more gauges. But that's another video. Okay, so plug your Foxwell into your OBD2 port go ahead and put it on uh, where it says BMW by hitting the arrow and hit hit enter sure. then I'll say mini go ahead and put it on mini and enter again then I'll say smart bin you're going to hit enter again for smart bin unless you want to type it in manually which I don't want to do so hit enter. It's going to read the VIN number. I'm going to tell you my VIN number right now. So I'm going to hit F3. And it tells you, F3, you hit F3 again. I don't want to show you all my information on it. But uh, now it's going to load the data, which is going to take a second. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn the camera off while it's, once, well, once it starts loading so you can see what it does. I'll turn the camera off so you don't have to, you don't have to wait for the whole thing. Yeah, okay, it's going to do that all the way to 100%. Okay, then as soon as that starts, finishes loading, it'll say diagnostics or service. And you're going to you're gonna go ahead and hit enter for and leave it on diagnostic. And quick scan or control models, uh, leave it on quick scan. No, hold on a second. Sorry about that. You want to be on control mod modules, hit enter. That's going to take you to drive, hit enter again. Then you're going to go down to motor electronics DME by hitting the zero. And then hit enter again. And then you're going to go down to live data and hit enter. Watch the screen. And it's going to load 
three this it's gonna do this three times so I'm not gonna make you watch okay when that finishes up it'll go to this screen and you're gonna scroll down until you hit show you High pressure fuel system, I think there might be a, I mean, look at all of them, yeah, it's high pressure fuel system. Hit enter. And we're just going to hit F1 and select all of it. And then we're going to hit F3 for OK. And it's showing me, my rail pressure set point is 5 bars, which is OK. Which is what, I mean, that's what it's set at. That's what it's ideal. And my actual value is right around that. So my fuel pressure is pretty good. At the rail. That means that, uh, everything's good. So I'm going to back out of that. But yeah, that's two ways that I know to check your fuel pressure, uh, definitely check it make sure you make sure you if you're going to replace your high pressure fuel pump you know from, if you get it from speed tech motorsports it, it's 600 bucks but other places it's up as high as 12 and 1300 bucks uh make sure it's raw it's bad before you go buy another one because that's expensive even if you get it from a, a cheaper place so yeah if uh, uh if you have questions you know go on uh, mini cooper diy on facebook uh join that group ask questions there any Mini Cooper is is a uh, welcome there. We have any, everything from classics to brand new Mini Coopers. There's uh, electric Mini Coopers. Everything is on there. Everything is welcome. So so join that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. And I'll catch you in the next video.